What is going on, this is my team, my coach Dan Sanino, okay, so today we have a week six ideal match prep versus uh, uh, Falcon and the Allentown Absorption, so they are in our division. He's got a pretty interesting team, and I'm going to be going over the team that I built for him. This one's very different than the one I typically, the kind of sets I typically run, so uh, it should be an interesting fight. Anyways, let's go over his team. So his team is Tornadus T, Galvantula, Embor, Serena, Durant, Aromatis, Crawdont, Ipoudon, Lycanroc, Avalog, and Cresselia. So he's the option of the sand if he wants to with Ipoudon. Uh, I mean, he does only have two Pokemon that are immune to the sand damage, which are Lycanroc and Durant, as well as Ipoudon, obviously. Yeah, he's got a, some freaking irritating walls such as Cresselia and Aromatis. Gosh, Haxorus does not do a lot. Adamant Life Orb does not do a lot. It's 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 absurd just how freaking bulky that thing is. Even Venusaur like Sludge Bomb, only well, I can't one shot it. It's absurd. Even though it has, I mean, anyway, most of its sets don't run Special Defense Investment. I mean, 89 Special Defense, but still. Uh, he's got a, several very scary attackers such as Embor and Serena. I've never actually battled the Serena, so this will be the first time if he brings it. Uh, and Tor he's got the Tornado, so he's got that uh, thing, which is his fastest Pokemon. So he's got a couple interesting speed tiers. Uh, he's got a couple Pokemon very high in speed. And the rest of them are pretty slow. Cresselia is the fastest. That's one of those pretty slow Pokemon, uh, even though you wouldn't typically run speed on the Cresselia. Anyways, let's start off with our team, or let's go for the team that I built. So first up, we have... Who has come to every match? Hazel. Uh, the Mew. Instead of running the Munium Z, we're running a Tanga Berry. Uh, if you don't know what that does, that lowers the power of a super effective bug type move. It has it. So we're running that because he's got those, he's got a couple bug types on his team, uh, being Duran and Galvantula, because uh, as you see, we're rocking flamethrowers. So if I am able to take, well, if I get hit by a bug type move, I'll be able to take that and then kill either of them with flamethrower and pretty cool stuff. So uh, Ice Beam works against, you know, uh, Tornadus, Serena, uh, the Lycanroc, or not the Lycanroc, I, didn't, I meant the Poudon, Lycanroc is right underneath that, so I said that on accident, Flamethrower, uh, for the two bug types, Serena as well, um, I, I don't think I mentioned Tornadus when it came to the ice, if I did, then it doesn't matter, but that works on him, Psychic is mainly, I mean, it hits walls on, on his entire team, Cronon is immune, Durant is... Uh, resisted to, but everything else takes at least neutral from it. Uh, Embor takes super effective damage, which is really, really nice, and it's just a good move in general. And then Thunderbolt, a, uh, um, that's kind of mainly for the Cronaut. Uh, it also hits Tornadus, obviously, and pretty cool stuff. You're probably looking at the EVs and you're like, what in the heck? So I'm rocking Max Special Attack Modest Nature so I can hit extremely hard with anything I want to go with. Uh, I'm rocking 132 in speed because that outspeeds max speed speed boosting nature uh, Serena, which is the fastest Pokemon that he would put speed into um, by one point. So I outspeed Serena. And uh, that means I outspeed everything else that I can outspeed. Uh, Cresselia most likely will not have speed investment, let's be honest. You don't bring speed, you bring you bring bulk on a freaking Cresselia. But I was able to, that means I was able to put the rest in defense. Um, that allowed me... Uh, let's see. So, I, I was able to put 116 defense, but those other 8 wouldn't actually make another stat growth uh, in defense. So I put 4 in HP and 4 in special defense, so we get a boost in either of those, just to make it a little bit bulkier. And, um, yeah, so it's just an interesting set, and... Pretty cool stuff. I could have t run Timid, uh, but that would give me less special attack, so I decided that I'd do this and just put more in speed, so pretty cool stuff. Next up, we have Ajiza the Chandler making her debut for us. Uh, she, this is one of my draft picks that has not come yet, mainly because I didn't have a good matchup, but I felt like it matched up very nicely against this team here. So anyways, we're rocking a very interesting set with, with Choice Scarf, Flash Fire, Energy Ball, Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, and Hidden Power Ice. Now, Flash Fire is because he's got the Emborb and... Uh, obviously, if I can predict a Flare Blitz or something like that, then I can get a uh, boost to Flamethrower. Energy Ball works well for the Cronaut that have Pout on, uh, and I mean, that's really it. I mean, like in Rock 2. Uh, so, Energy Ball is kind of one of those things, but it helps against some of the Pokemon that it's weak to. Uh, Flamethrower is just a strong move in general. Uh, I think, let's see, I know that Embor resist it, and I believe Embor and uh, Lycanroc are the only things that resist it. I mean, 
Crawdon does too. Neither Avala, not Avalog. Uh, Crawdon doesn't want to take it anyway because Crawdon has terrible special defense. Shadow Ball, a nice stab move, hits everything on his team. He's only got one resistance, being that Crawdon. Everything else is hit at least for neutral, so it's very, very good. And then Hidden Power Ice is mainly for uh, the Tornadas, the Serena hits, just because if I want to predict something, hit Poudon. Um, yeah, so pretty cool stuff. That's about it when it comes to that. So you're once again you're probably looking at this set and you're like, what? So we're max special attack, so I do a lot of damage. Uh, 128 in speed plus with the choice scarf allows me to outspeed uh, max speed, speed boost, nature, tornadus T by one point. <laughs> but so that allows me to put more in defense, so I can live uh, possibly. A hit. I think what this allows me to do it lives allows me to live a. Uh, Max Attack Jolly Life Orb Aqua Jet from Crawdot. That's what the defense allows me to do. It's very interesting, I know. And then a little bit in HP because I didn't really have anywhere else to put it. Because uh, I felt putting in HP would help me live the Aqua Jet just a little bit better. Um, so pretty cool stuff. That's how things are working with Chandelure. Uh, as you see, I went very in depth this week. It's just Crawdot is is an issue, and I want to be able to do something as Energy Ball obliterates it. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, that is Chandelure for us, and Timid Nature. So I was able to put uh, less in speed and put that in other places. So pretty cool stuff. Next up, we have Kate up in the Melotic, uh, rocking leftovers of Marvel Scale, Ice Beam, Skull, Recover, Toxic. So very typical set. Very. Uh, I mean, what I brought every single time. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that I brought Melotic, which is max HP, max defense with four in special attack to boost a little damage of Scald and Ice Beam sometimes. Uh, bold nature, so my defense is even stronger. And yeah, so I don't really know anything specifically that he would have that would, would go straight for a burn. I mean, he's got Lycan Rocket's Fangs, uh, so it could give me some status condition. Uh, I don't know, Aromatis if it wants a Toxic or something like that. So. You know, it just kind of really depends. <laughs> I'm rocking Toxic as well, so I can uh, wear down some of his walls, such as that Cresselia and the Aromatis, because those things are irritating as crap to battle. So if I can get Toxic and I'm able to stall them out, because I should be able to stall both of those out, because Kate Upton would have a higher damage output, I believe. Actually, I could be wrong. I mean, they would both hit on the special side, and this thing is physically bulky. So, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> They're pretty much the same, though, defense and special defense with the max defense and whatnot. But uh, Ice Beam, as I said, works against Tornadas, the uh, Tornadas, which hits this thing super hard. Serena, which is super effective against it. Hippowdon, which uh, didn't, doesn't really matter because I do have the Scald. A Scald could be very nice if he decides to s set in... Uh, Cronaut, so maybe if I get a burn on the Cronaut, that'd be very nice because adaptability is super scary. Uh, pretty much that would get rid of adaptability and stab entirely. So he'd be at normal attack when it comes to his attack. So, um, yeah, that's that's just how good Cronaut is. With stab moves and adaptability, it goes up to, to two times rather than 1.5. So, <laughs> it's absurd. Anyway, Scald also hits the Cronaut and Boar. Obviously, a burn on anything would be helpful because... Uh, the, really, the only things that suffer from it are the couple physical attackers, such as like Hapoudon, Crawdon, Lycan Rock. Even though Crawdon's not really a, or not Crawdon, Hapoudon's not really an attacker. Uh, it's more of a support Pokemon, but it can have like Earthquake and whatnot. That's typical. That's probably what's gonna have uh, Durant. If I can burn that Aromatis, if I can burn that, I prefer to Toxic the Aromatis because Burn got nerfed. I already explained the EV, so that is Kate Upton for us. Next up, we have Pudge the Venusaur with the Akaberry because of Embor, uh, with. Overgrow because I didn't need to run Chlorophyll. Knockoff, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, and Synthesis. So, uh, knockoff if I can get rid of some items. Uh, if I can get rid of a possible Scarf on the Embor. If I can get rid of a, um, I don't know, like an Assault Vest or something like that on Aromatis, which I really hope it doesn't have. Uh, leftovers on the Aromatis, that'd be amazing to get rid of. Uh, band on Crawdot, possible Band or Life Orb, which, which sucks anyway. <laughs> uh, assault vest on Avalug, which if he brought it, that's most likely would have what it would have, and then leftovers on Cresselia. Something I find funny is he's brought Cresselia to any of his matches, which I'm like, how? How do you not bring Cresselia? It's so, so irritatingly good. Anyways, uh, there's no possible way, as, at least with this spread, unless investing a ton in defense, that I can live a Flare Blitz from Embor. So I decided to run Akaberry so I can possibly live one and knock and use Knockoff, just in case he's doing something like. Uh, if, if he's running a band or a scarf or something like that. I want to see what is is that one of his Zemons? I just want to double check here real quick. Yes, it is so uh, That could end up being for not because 
uh, Tornadus, Embor, and Lycanroc are his... Uh, those are very interesting ones to have those on. It could be running a Z move, and it's running a Z move. I'll know because I can't knock it off. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, Sludge Bomb just hits hard. It, as I said earlier, I was mentioning this that it only does up to 89% to the Aromatis because that thing is absurd. Even with max special attack, special attack boosting nature, it's crazy. I don't understand how. It's just so weird. Uh, Giga Drain, so we can get health back, hits a couple of the Pokemon, like Crowdot and Hipout. Crowdot is kind of walled by Pudge. A uh, knockoff, I think, will do a lot of damage, though. And if I haven't already used my Aqua Berry, then it might kill. You never know. Uh, I mean, because I only do have 83 defense, but still. Yeah, and then Synthesis is so I can get health back uh, if I want to sit in there. Do I really want to? Oh, it's too late anyway. I was th just thinking about it. I, sh I probably shouldn't run Giga Drain and Synthesis, but. I suppose it doesn't matter. Giga Drain, uh, I mean, it's situational, I guess, and Synthesis could be useful at any time because it restores 50% of my HP. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, I think, or is it a quarter? I don't remember. I hope it's, I'm pretty sure it's only a quarter in rain and whatnot. So, yeah, we're rocking max HP, max special attack, uh, quiet nature, and four in attack to boost knock off a little bit. I don't really need speed too much. I'll outspeed a, a lot of his things that are very slow anyway, so it shouldn't really matter too much. And um, yeah, that is Venusaur, Pudge Forest. Next up, another Pokemon I, well, it's come to all but one match, is uh, Camilla. Uh, <laughs> we're rocking uh, Life Orb, Mold Breaker with Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance, and Poison Jab. I didn't really know what ability to run. I don't really like a nerve in this situation because Durant would be the only thing I could see having a specific item or having a berry being the Aka Berry because of its four times weakness to it. But even still, uh, I don't think I would really need that because it wouldn't help Haxorus being out here because it doesn't have a fire type move. Uh, Earthquake will hit the the Cresselia. That's really the only thing that uh, uh, Mold Breaker is going to do for me. And it does more than the other two abilities would because Rivalry is a bad ability for competitive. <laughs> it's a bad ability in general. But, you know, anyway, uh, pretty cool stuff. Earthquake uh, just hits well against his entire team. I believe Tornadus is the only thing that avoids it, uh, and obviously with Mole Breaker, Cresselia cannot avoid it, so that's very nice. Dragon Claw hits super hard, uh, Aromatis is the only thing that do isn't affected by it. I didn't want to run Outrage because Outrage doesn't work exactly like I thought it was, th thought I did when it came to Fairy types, so I don't want to be locked in against that thing, because that thing basically one-shots me uh, without Special Defense Investment. I haven't calced it actually with this Special Defense Investment, but I don't believe it can one-shot me. Um, it had a very, very decent chance to one-shot without special defense investment earlier, even with no investment whatsoever. So once again, the speed invested is enough to outspeed Serena, because I don't believe he's going to invest any speed in the Cresselia. Um, so this, it's the same reason that allowed me to put a bunch of special defense investment, so I can live an attack from that, uh, the Aromatis, and get off an, a poison jab, which won't even do that much. It'll only, it'll do just on, like, about 50%. Am I, but I was that was I calcing with plus one. I hope that wasn't plus one. I, I was calcing with plus one earlier, but that that would suck if it wasn't. But I don't know. That thing is absurd. Uh, how bulky it is. Poison jabs mainly for that thing. I mean, it help, hits the Serena hard too, and that's really about it. Dragon Dance. If I get the opportunity set up, uh, I can run, run havoc on his team. Like the one thing, Aromatis and Crawdon are his biggest issues with against my team so if he doesn't bring one or either of them that would be amazing but i guarantee at least one of them is coming because they're both great pokemon um so yeah that is camilla Forest, uh max attack 148 in speed so i outspeed serena uh 108 in special defense and adamant nature so i do a ton of damage because uh, this guy is my one of my wall breakers always so and finally we have bubble butt running a different set than normal uh i should actually change him to shiny because that was how Judas gened him so he's gonna be shiny even though I didn't really care want him to be but you know what that literally makes no difference whatsoever it's just cosmetic but uh but what here's only leftovers with defiant because I'm not running defog because I don't really need to uh Hippowdon is kind of an issue but at the same time the only thing that's really suffers from the rocks would be uh a Jiza and at, at some point I believe that 
it might be down at that point. Anyways, Flash Cannon is mainly for the Serena, or not the Serena, the Aroma Tea, so I can hit that thing hard. It also hits that lug extremely hard. Uh, with Assault Vest even, I think it's probably going to do at least 50%. I didn't calculate with it, I didn't calc against it, but I knew, uh, I mean, I do have some special attack investment. This thing already has very good special defense, or special uh, attack and good special defense. Uh, I wanted to run this thing to be my special wall this week because... Uh, UC just didn't match up as well because I didn't really want to run another Tenga Berry uh, because of being pure psychic. I have three pure psychic Pokemon, so having uh, the, that bug be a weakness from two extremely hard attackers in Durant and Galvantula, I didn't really want to run two Tenga Berries. Ice Beam is good against the Tornadus, the Serena, uh, Hepaton. Skull just hits hard against his team. And if I can burn Serena or Crawdon, that'd be amazing. Stealth Rocks, so I can get up some rocks, because he's got the Tornadus, the Galvantula, that takes 25%, uh, and I believe that, uh, and Avalog. All those take 25%, uh, and the extra chip damage could help, and it could get maybe Aromatisse to that point where Sludge Bomb kills from Pudge, or something of the sort. So, uh, yeah, we're rocking max HP, 204 in special defense, because 200 isn't, I don't know, 200, as you see, the... If, if you check this out, it, only, it jumps between 204 and 196 for different things, and then I put the rest in special attack with a modest nature, so I do more damage. Anyways, that is the team we are bringing for Falcon in the uh, Allentown Absorption. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you I'm once again nervous for this battle. We are on a two-game win streak currently, uh, and I would love to continue that. This will be a tough match because he's got a good... He's got a good team matchup versus me, but we're bringing a very diverse team. Literally no same typing, so... Hopefully, we should be able to pull out a W. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching. Really enjoyed it. Really appreciate me subscribing. Let's go beat it.